given that everything is, seems to be about politics, I know the comedy game got a lot of politics to it. Who would you say is like the president and like the vice president of the game right now of comedy? Is that, does that such thing that exists? Yeah. No, no, no. I can't do that because I work with too many different people and I have different thoughts about different people for different reasons. Yeah. And comedy is subjective. I will say this though. It is still, I want to say that the game is still so misogynistic because I just heard about this um, comedy festival that my dear friend 50 is having like right now. And I haven't seen the paperwork. I don't know. But from what I have heard, there's not a, I was, on, I, people I know were on planes flying to where it's taking place. And there were several comedians on the plane, but not one female comic, not one. Now this may be mistaken. This is the information I've gotten. And and I and I love Fifty. I did Power Book Ghost Book Two. Uh, I know he's a comedy fan, but there are men and women in the audiences at these shows. So I think that fair representation only makes sense. Now, other people might argue that there's no females really generating heat right now. I know that I am because of the sellout crowds that I get. However, I was not asked to participate, number one, and I'm booked and busy anyway. I couldn't do it, just like these dates I have been on the books. I'm in Philly. I can't be in two places at the same time, so I'm not swollen. When I speak for women, I'm not speaking for me. I'm talking about female comics, period. You right. know, my sister's in the game. Whether you think they suck or whether they don't, I'm speaking for them, to me. Uh, I think that is a very hurtful thing that you mean to tell me in the United States of America, there's not one female comic that's worthy to be on the festival, not a, not a, Takara, not a, not a Yvonne Orji, not a Zainab Johnson, not a Vanessa Fraction, not not nobody. And I found, I actually found the uh, the flyer. Uh, it's called the Big Bowl Comedy Show. Um, he has Andrew Schultz on there, Bill Bellamy, Chico Bean, DC Young Fly, Earthquake, Gary Owen, Haha ha Davis, JJ Williamson, Cat Williams, Lavelle Crawford. Uh, Landon Brown, Matt Reif, uh, Michael Blackson, Nate Jackson, um, and I don't see not one female comedian. So what do you tell? I don't make. I don't make. I don't make this shit up. You know. Yeah, yeah. Do you tell Fifty? I mean, in case he was watching this, do you tell him like, hey, like, because if point, he's watching, yeah. I would say, yo, bro, that's kind of hurtful. You know, it's hurtful because. There are women that are worthy, and I'm not speaking about myself. Yeah. I told you, I am booked and busy. I'm eating well. But there are, you have both, John, both, um, uh, uh, you know, people, men and females, genders. Mm -hmm. genders in the audience. How can you expect women who buy a lot of tickets? Just yeah. sit and listen to a man after a man after a man after a man after a man, exactly. after, a man after a man. So this is the assumption is that men are funnier than women. That's the assumption. Well, that's the assumption that's been perpetrated. Yeah. But there's women that are working and eating well as well. But they're still not given the opportunities, which me, to me, you have to be a bit of a goon. And we can't wait for opportunities to be given to us we have to make opportunities for ourselves. But I'm not trying to divide us, you know? I'm not trying to, the men's over here and the women's over here. It's not trying, I mean, we can coexist and work together. I right. work with all those guys you just named. Right. You know? And I just don't see how you can call it a festival and not celebrate females in the game. That's true. Because I think that, um, you know, I've, I've been to several, several, many, many comedy shows. And women have made me laugh at the same. But time. you've been to many comedy shows where there wasn't a female either, right? Right. But I was gonna say, 
they said that 70% of the comedy audience is female. That's what they said. I don't know if that has changed over the years, but I would kind of put some pressure on the women to be like, hey, you should be trying to not always just see men. Like, you should try to make, you should hold them accountable for booking more female acts. Yes, but there's, what, what, what does that mean, hold them accountable? That's what I'm doing now. But then, see, people don't want to hear it, and then, you know, they call you a bitch the, and the female, troublemaker. The female and all this. The female no, com- it's the audience right. that should hold them accountable, not right. us. All we can do is work. All we can do is state right. what is right and what is wrong in our opinion. But if the, and, and it is true that most of the comedy ticket buyers are females. As right. females buy the tickets for the couple, or, right. or females tell the couple what to do. Right. Men, I say in my act that men normally won't come see a female comic with their boys unless Correct. a female brings them. Correct. But That's guys right. or women will get together and go see a male or a female. Men is not the same. Men come see me, but it is, and, and they come together sometimes. But uh, it's not like it. But I wonder, it, is it women trying to get, because women, you guys are always trying to get um, how men think and, you know, just our your, our point of view. So I wonder, is it women going to those comedy shows because they want to hear a male's point of view? And a lot of times, there's a lot of single women, too, in our, so I'm just trying to break it down, like, why are women gravitating to male comedians for that type of uh, conversation? Because that's what's happening. Because if you don't, you just, I mean, for, well, like I say, I can't speak for all women, clearly. Right. But um, I think that it's a great date night. That's who's available. There's more men in the game than women. The agencies get behind more males than women. And there's not a huge pool of females who are shaking it up out there. There's a lot of women that are available. There's a lot of women that are working. But there's not a lot of women that are really shaking the tree. Enjoyed this teaser? You can watch the full interview right now at hypersclub.com, along with more behind the scenes and additional content.